What is going on YouTube? Bryce builds it all. Your favorite AMPIA and Part 147 instructor. Back with another video, and I don't usually do maintenance videos in the middle of the week. I usually do more pieces to cameras and talking heads, as they call them. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to film one of those, and instead I'm out here at the airport on a Tuesday putting in this new voltage regulator into the 172 that we've had on the channel so many times before. And I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about undocumented maintenance and uh, things not getting logged. So stick around. First thing is first, I need to get the old vet voltage regulator out. And on this 172, it's pretty easy. It's right here. So I don't feel the need to take the entire cowling off. I'd rather just struggle through this tiny door because I enjoy making my life miserable. But to talk to you about undocumented maintenance. Now this is a problem that I will occasionally see and I will occasionally get YouTube comments about and people will ask me, they'll say, hey, um, what about when somebody doesn't document something? And I would say to them, it's not super common, but occasionally it does happen. Occasionally you will find yourself working on an airplane and thinking, that tire is, 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 looks brand new, but there's no logbook entry for it. Or the tachometer has clearly been replaced, but there was no logbook entry for it. And that's actually really an, an annoying one is anytime maintenance is done that causes you to lose tack time or total time, it's unforgivable. But when an oil change or an oil filter or an air filter is changed and not documented, it's annoying. And sometimes you can tell it was done, but it's not the end of the world. And why I'm talking about this to you now, this is more so directed at students, but it is also directed at my population of viewers that are pilots, is that you need to be recording maintenance records or maintenance entries for everything you do. Everything you do. Obviously, I said that twice because I wanted you to know that it was important. Now, the FAA has some opinions on what is and what is not maintenance. Removing the cowling to clean and putting the cowling back on is not necessarily maintenance. Taking panels off is not necessarily maintenance. However, doing an oil change is, changing an air filter is. And what, I, what I'll often see happen is not that somebody is deliberately not recording maintenance, it's just that in the task of everything else that got accomplished, there was an oil change done, an air filter was done. Um, maybe they put an all new plug harnesses on, they did magnetos, they changed the motor mounts, they put a new exhaust shield on it, they replaced the scat tubing. And somewhere in there, a piece or a component or a part was changed, but it gets lost in the record. I've, I've seen it happen a couple of times. Um, I've been guilty of it once or twice. I've realized after um, typing out a logbook entry and signing it and putting it in the logbook, realizing, oh crap, I forgot about the um, whatever it was, and I basically had to retype while well, it was already saved. So all I had to do was add the one missing part that I was missing and then paste it over the original logbook entry that I had just done. But the point is, it does happen that sometimes parts uh, get lost and it is, it is frustrating. And the reason I'm telling you this, it is very important when you're performing maintenance on aircraft that you log everything. If you change a filter, log it. If you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing and that's the reason you're not logging it, like for example, you're a owner operator with a private pilot certificate, you're not supposed to be uh, timing a magneto. Although it may be simple enough, it may be a task that you've done before, you shouldn't be doing it. This is my new voltage regulator. As you can tell, it is much nicer than the old one. And it told me several times in very big and bold letters, not to ground pin I. So I looked at the wiring diagram provided with the installation instructions, which yes, I didn't show it on camera, but I did read the installation instructions. A lot of people ask me that. I do read the manuals, I just don't film it. Uh, but anyways, it told me not to ground pin I because it will cause the unit to fail. Fortunately for us, this was never originally wired for a alternator or a low voltage light, so pin I isn't even used, so that will not be a problem. But now I shall get the new one in. I still need to tighten everything down, but isn't that beautiful? Back to my topic. So I'm sure you're asking the question to yourself right now behind your keyboard. Well, what should I do if I come across something that I suspect was not documented or perhaps it was something major? I've actually seen major STCs uh, that were installed and even put in the logbooks 
but the 337s were never filled out. The 337s were never sent to the FAA records branch, and that would still that would be an example of undocumented uh, maintenance. So what I do as a mechanic when I come across some work that was done and there's no way of me telling when it was done, by who it was done, or how it was done, is that I go back through the installation for whatever that thing was. Let's say it was this Zeptronics um, voltage regulator that we got for this 172. I would verify, you know, is there supposed to be an STC for it? Is there supposed to be any sort of documentation with it? And I would see if I could find those things. For example, uh, amendment to the POH. I would see if I could find those things. And if I couldn't, I would get a hold of them by either contacting the manufacturer or seeing if I could find them on Google and putting them in to the maintenance regs. And then I would go through the process of verifying the installation, which is of course a visual inspection making sure that it's wired properly, making sure that the hardware is torqued properly, if that means loosening things and then retorquing them to verify they're at the proper sports torque spec, then so be it. And my logbook entry would probably read something along the lines of um, inspected installation of previously installed Zeftronics voltage regulator, uh, found no discrepancies and updated the AFM or POH or whatever it may be. And truthfully, it's really the, the best way of going about doing it. I'm not going to undo a bunch of work. I'm not going to go and redo everything. I'm just going to inspect the installation and make sure it was done properly and then say, okay, yeah, this was done properly. So I will then update the maintenance records as saying that it has been done. Now it's time for an ops check. That's a really nice JPI. I wonder who put that in. Now, this whole video has been about logging your maintenance and is probably entitled something like, the job's not over until the paperwork is finished. So that's exactly what we're gonna do now, the log books. But first I need to get my tack time, here it is. But if I push these center two buttons and holds, not only will it give my tack time, but will also give me my maintenance hobs because that is how we set up this JPI. EDM 900. It's actually a really clean installation. I wonder who did that. And just like that, with the ink dry on the logbook entry, the work is officially done and I can head home. I swear sometimes between YouTube, working on airplanes, and my day job, it does feel like I have three of them. Although I do wish I got paid like I had three of them. Um, so that's going to do it all for this one, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it, or at least at the minimum found it informative, entertaining. If you want to see a video on how to write a logbook entry, or I should say tips to write a logbook entry, I did make one of those in the past. I might try to link it in the end screen. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, go build something and be easy.